Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install WorldGuard. So just before we start, this isn't going to show you how to use it and how to use all the commands. This is just going to be how to install it and how to use a few simple commands. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. So anyway, let's get right in. So first of all, you want to make sure that you are running a server type that does support plugins. We would recommend that you do use paper for this. Okay, so now that we've set up our server version, we want to go to this website. I'll leave a link to it in the description. You then want to click File. And of course, you want to find the version of your Minecraft. So my server is 1.18.1, and as you can see, this one says 1.17.1 to 1.18. So I'm going to go ahead and click Download File. But let's say, for example, you are running Minecraft 1.12, you can see that you have to install the WorldGuard 6.2.2, for Minecraft 1.12.2. Anyway, as you can see, it has finished downloading. But in order to make WorldGuard work, we also need to get World Edit. So if you are on this website, you can go to the main page again, and as you can see, there is a link for World Edit. I'll also link World Edit in the description as well. So we're going to click this link, and as you see, it has taken us to World Edit. We then want to go to File again, and find your server version. So once again, mine is 1.18, so I'm going to go ahead and click Download on the first one. Alright, and that has successfully downloaded as well. Alright, so now we have everything downloaded, we want to go back to Pebblehost. We then want to go to the file manager on the left, and then find the plugins folder. We then want to click on the plugins folder, and then we can click upload, file, and as you can see, it has taken me to my downloads, where I have world edit and also world guard. And then I'm going to select these both and click open. And as you can see, it's now uploading the files. And there we go. So we then want to click back, and then we want to restart our server. Alright, so as you can see, our Minecraft server has loaded up. Alright, and we have now joined the server. If you do want to check that you have installed the plugins correctly, you can simply do slash plugins. And as you can see, it says plugins to world edit and world guard. So that means the plugins have installed successfully. Alright, so I'm now going to tell you how you can turn off fire spreading. Okay, so if you like this block on fire, as you can see, it has started to spread on the roof and also around. However, what we can do to stop this is we can do stash stop fire. As you see, fire spread has been globally disabled for world by strange stand. So the fire will be like this, but it will not spread any more than that. And as you see, it is already starting to burn out. This could be useful if you are doing a creative server and in one of your builds, there is wood and fire near each other. As you can simply just turn off fire spreading and there you go. If you do want to turn it back on, you can do slash allow fire. And as you see, fire spread has been re-enabled. Alright, so I'm now going to show you how you can make yourself god, meaning that you can't actually take damage. So now I'm in survival, we can do slash god. And as you see, god mode enabled, use slash ungod to disable. We can go ahead and hit the zombie, and it can go ahead and hit us, and we will take absolutely no damage. And then if we do slash ungod, there we go, we can immediately start taking damage. And as you see, we're also very low on health right now. So we can just do slash heal. And there we go, our hunger and also our health is fully filled now. Another thing for if you're lagging, you can simply do slash stop lag. And as you can see, it's asking us to confirm, we can go ahead and click. And as you can see, all the mobs that are around us have now been removed. And it said 208 entities auto removed from the world. So obviously there will be no mobs and if your server is struggling that should help however if you do want to turn it back on you can do slash stop lag and then a space and then a dash and c and there we go all intensive server activity is now allowed and then mobs will start spawning once again anyway thank you so much for watching today's video hopefully it did help out and if it did definitely leave a like and also subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time